Well, the crash itself has been described as a potential near miss for tragedy. Now, all 10 personnel, as you mentioned, have been safely retrieved from the water and were confirmed to be OK. There was only two personnel that had sustained minor injuries from the crash that occurred last night, just about 9, 10 p.m., according to emergency services. Now, the ADF says they were conducting what's known as routine counter-terrorism training from the HMS Creswell Naval Academy when the aircraft did go down. For the time being, they say that all training activity has been temporarily paused while they investigate what exactly happened last night that led to the incident. They've also said that the MRH-90 Taipan fleet, the fleet that was involved in the crash, has also been temporarily grounded for the time being. It is important to note, Michael, that this particular fleet that was involved in the crash has been plagued with a number of issues over the last few years, including the most recent back in 2019, when all 47 helicopters were grounded as a result of an issue with the tail rotor blade that needed to be fixed. Now, police say they are assisting with the defence-led investigation. The department has confirmed that they will be providing support to not only the ADF members that were involved in the incident, but also to their families.